you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I have two Joanne pickup orders to show you as well as some yarns and crochet stuff in general that I have gotten from a thrift store that is local to me. Now, I won't be sharing the name of the thrift store just because it is local to me. It's not like a Goodwill or anything like that. So I will not be sharing the name of that store for that reason. But I do have two separate Joanne pickup orders that I did that are all pretty much Burnett blanket and baby blanket. Like there's only one skein between the both of those that is not one of those. Um, and then the thrift store stuff is what I have to share with you in this video. So the first pickup order as well as the thrift store stuff I filmed about a week ago because I got the pickup order then as well as I've had the thrift store stuff. So I filmed all of that thinking it was going to be one video and then I did the second pickup order and decided that it could all just be one video so there's going to be an outfit change and maybe a lighting change or something but i'm going to put that footage in right now from last week when i filmed that part so i have two yarns from the local thrift store as well as two crochet slash knitting books and then i also have a lot of burnett blanket and baby blanket from Joanne that I bought recently. So I'm combining these two together for today's haul. So I'm just gonna start out with the thrift store since I only have two skeins to share with you and then I will show you everything from Joanne. So these are the two skeins that I have from the thrift store. One of them still has the tag and the other one doesn't. But um, this is Karn One Pound, which I'm assuming this one is also because they look exactly the same to me and they feel exactly the same just this one may have been used a little bit but anyways i did get these two skeins which this car in one pound is 16 ounces which is 453.6 grams it is 812 yards 742 meters it is a medium weight four and suggests five millimeter crochet hooks and knitting needles and it is 100 percent acrylic and this is the color claret and I'm assuming both of these are exactly the same because again they feel the same look the same and they actually came from the same bin that the thrift store workers said was donated by the same person so I'm assuming they're exactly the same and um, these were both $5.99 which I think pretty sure is a pretty good deal I think they're like $7.99 on sale sometimes so this is a pretty good deal for me and I don't mind them being used especially this one like I can tell it hasn't been used very much at all if it has been used and this one is almost the same size and weight so it's only been used a tiny bit so I was happy with these and I thought maybe I could make something like to donate with these now as far as the two crochet books I found I am very excited about these and these were both $2 a piece because they are hardback. At this particular thrift store, it is $1 for paperback and $2 for hardback books. So this first one is Better Home and Gardens Crocheting and Knitting. And it says 50 plus projects for your home, traditional and contemporary designs with easy to follow patterns. So the copyright on this book says 1977 and... We have a table of contents, afghans, table, bedroom, rugs, accessories, and then glossary. So there's a lot of beautiful patterns in here. And I do plan on doing a series at some point where I make patterns from these like vintage, I guess you could say, crochet books. I really don't know what like vintage would be considered but just older crochet books in general because i have some that i bought from thrift stores and i also have some from my grandma and stuff so i do plan on doing that as a series at some point but anyway there are a lot of different patterns in here that are both crocheting and knitting and they're just so pretty so i do again plan on doing that for a series so you'll most likely see both of these books in that series at some point but this next book is women's day prize winning afghans which i don't know if y'all can see 
this one is absolutely gorgeous but it's also such a complicated pattern but all of these patterns are prize winning patterns which this book was $23.95 as its original price it says it on the the little thing here so it's got some gorgeous patterns I mean there's a lot of beautiful like flower ones I'm trying to show y'all but there's glares on the pages so I'm sorry about that but here's the one that's specifically on the front of the book and y'all I'm gonna flip just to one of the next pages but all of these are different graphs which yes this book is falling apart on me but it's okay I'm just gonna have to glue it and it'll be fine but um anyway these are all different graphs for the different flowers panels and then the panels all get either sewn together or stitched together but either way these books have some gorgeous patterns and I really want to make this one on the front especially but it's going to take me a long time to even get to the point where I can sit down and make like I think it was 12 panels for that and then stitch them all together so don't expect that for a long time but maybe at some point in a video but either way I'm very excited about both of these books and uh, for two dollars each incredible find in my opinion and uh, all of these patterns in these books are just as good as regular patterns you would buy today so anyway I love finding them at thrift stores and uh, this particular thrift store that's local to me has a lot of these kinds of books and magazines and stuff so anyways yes that is these purchases so now we're gonna move on to Joanne because that's just a little quick segment um, just two skeins of yarn and two books and this Joanne order is a lot <laughs> like a lot a lot okay y'all I have a huge bag here as you can tell they didn't even give me a regular size bag they gave me like a trash bag thing basically because of how much I bought so we're just gonna tear into this and I'm gonna show you what I got I don't know the exact prices that I paid unless there's a thing in here because I didn't in-store pickup and the screenshots on my phone and I don't know where I put my phone as of right now. Okay, I found my phone and it literally was sitting right in front of me just under some stuff. It's fine, but now at least I will know the price to tell y'all because I have it screenshotted on here specifically for filming this video. <laughs> But I could not find it for a minute. Alright, so we're going to start out with the one color that I did buy two different skeins of. And then we're going to move on to the others. So when I bought these yarns, it was 25% off all baby yarns. These hauls are filmed about a month in advance from when you're seeing them. Sometimes even longer than that. So the sales that I'm mentioning in haul videos are never going to be relevant. I do have yarn sale videos that are every Sunday and Thursday. If you're interested in checking those out, those are filmed the same day they're uploaded. So that is updated every single time. But these hauls are not updated. So a lot of these are baby blanket just because it is 25% off when I bought this, but definitely not when you're seeing this, unless it's just a coincidence. <laughs> but it's not the same sale, <laughs> for sure. So anyways, baby blanket and regular blanket are the same breakdown so i'm just going to tell you once and then i'll tell you all the color names so this is burnett baby blanket which is 100 percent polyester 10.5 ounces 300 grams 220 yards which is a super bulky number six so i do have two of this same color which is baby sand so for this order not only did i have 25 percent off all baby yarn but i also used a coupon that was 25% off your whole order for in-store pickup. That's why I did an in-store pickup order. So for both of these, it was $13.48. So two of these in baby sand. Next, we have quite a few other baby blankets because again, they were already 25% off and then I got the additional 25% off. And by the way, the regular price for every single one of these is $11.99 per skein. So 
I have baby a lilac which was 674 I have baby blue which was also 674 and I have mountain mist which was also 674 the final baby blanket is the color vanilla and again 674 with the 25% off coupon and 25% off all baby yarn okay y'all we have one that is regular blanket but again the breakdown is exactly the same it's just regular blanket because i actually needed this same color for a specific project and this is the color almond so this is again regular blanket instead of baby blanket so this was not on any sale but i did get the 20 five percent off just for my coupon so i did pay 8.99 for this one but all of the rest of them since they were baby blanket which was again 25 percent off and then my coupon also worked with the sale so all of the other ones were six dollars and 74 cents each but this one was 8.99 because only 25 percent off once all right now that y'all have seen the thrift store stuff as well as the pickup order i do just want to share with you one more thing that somehow i forgot that i bought at the thrift store like it was sitting in the closet i bought it at the same time as those two books and the two car and one pounds and i did not remember to show it when i filmed the original clip so i'm going to show you right now and then we're going to get into the other yarns that i got from the second joanne pickup order so they had a lot of these little packs at the thrift store and they're so cute these are the annie's hook and needle kit club and this is called a bear lovey so it comes with a little pattern to make this lovey that is a little bear and it's got arms and a face and everything and then obviously the lovey part and the yarns come with it as well as like a tiny bit of stuffing even comes with it for the face and everything so i'm gonna open this up actually it hasn't even been opened like you can tell by the original person that uh ordered this and then donated it to the thrift store but i'm gonna open it to share with you the yarns and everything which by the way i paid 9.99 for this whole little thing so these yarns just say annie's hook and needle knit club and they don't actually have like a yarn name or anything but um they are 50 percent acrylic and 50 percent nylon this tiny little skein is just a little green for the little hat and the little bow actually that the bear has once i get the pattern out i can like show you a close-up of what the bear actually looks like but um this is just a 0.5 ounce little skein and it is only 24 yards and then we have another one that is the dark brown color that is the same size we also have this cream color which is one ounce 44 yards then we have this tiny little bag of stuffing how cute and finally we have two of these skeins that are the bigger ones and this lighter tan color that's for like everything so this is 4.25 ounces and 224 yards for both of these so pretty good for everything in this little bag as well as for the pattern just a little piece of cardboard in here and then it's actually a little magazine that shows you these steps and everything so i'm trying to show this without having a glare y'all but here is what the little bear looks like but it actually shows a crochet one and a knit one so i wonder if both patterns are in here because that would be really cool there is there's a pattern for a knit one in the back and then the front pattern is crochet how cool i guess that makes sense because it's called annie's hook and needle kit club but i just assumed it was crocheted because that's what the one on the front looked like and at the thrift store i couldn't see this back side so um it's very cool i'm impressed with this and i do plan on making this at some point just to donate because i don't have anybody with like kids let alone babies in my life so um i will just be making this 
to donate at some point but i thought it was really cute and i've never bought like one of these packs or anything so when i saw this one at the thrift store i wanted to pick it up i'm gonna move on to showing y'all the joanne pickup order the second one now all right y'all so i know that was a lot from the first order and i have even more in this order i think or maybe it's about the same but either way i still have a lot so we're just gonna get into it and i did use the same coupons the only difference is when i was shopping this time i had the same 25 percent off in-store pickup order coupon and i did buy some baby blankets that were still 25 percent off for the same sale so i did get those for 6.79 as well as when i did this pickup order they randomly had 25% off Burnett Blanket. So I did end up getting a lot more Burnett Blanket this time than Baby Blanket versus the last clip you just saw. I got more Baby Blanket than regular Blanket because that was on sale, but the regular Blanket wasn't, if that makes sense. So now that they were both on sale, I ended up picking up quite a few colors of a lot of them. Yeah, we're just gonna get straight into this. All of these skeins were $6.49 because again, coupon and sale at the same time. Regular price, $11.99. But before I actually show you those, I want to show you the ones that I got while we were in the store because these were not available for pickup. Well, the one wasn't available for pickup. It said it was out of stock, but I went in to look when I picked up the order just to make sure. And there was one left, so bought that one as well as one other brand big twist let me just show you it'd be easier to show you so this is burnett blanket in the color crimson now i'm not gonna give y'all the full breakdown again because y'all heard it in the last clip so i'm not gonna go too far into it i'm basically just gonna be telling you the colors but i did get the red color crimson because one of my most popular things i've been making is the malcolm mushroom squishmallows which any of the patterns I'm mentioning, if they're already out, I can link them below for you guys or just go to my Etsy or my Ribbler shop. All of my Squishmallow patterns are available on both and both are just called Katie Bean Creative. So if I forget to link a pattern or you want to just look at my patterns in general, those are both always linked below. But anyway, this will most likely be for Malcolm Squishmallows. So this is the color Crimson. And whenever I did my pickup order, that was out of stock. Or they said it was out of stock, but there was still one. Just one on the shelf. So I picked that up. And I also grabbed this because this is like the most similar color, I believe. At least the most like similar weight and color and all of that to Burnett Blanket. It's a little bit different, so I'm not going to use them together in the same project or anything. But if I do end up making mushroom squishmallows i can still use this instead of this and it wouldn't be too big of a difference is what i was thinking and some people may prefer this shade of red than this one anyway so who knows but um anyways yes this is the big twist cuddle yarn which i am going to give you the breakdown for because it is different but the breakdown is very similar actually now that i'm looking at this it is so similar hold up it's actually the same i didn't even know this I don't normally buy Big Twist Cuddle because it's the same price as Burnett Blanket and everything, but there's so many more color options for Burnett Blanket and Baby Blanket, so this is what I always gravitate towards, and there's normally sales on this, and sometimes there's like 30% off Big Twist and stuff, but not always, so anyway, this is what I normally gravitate towards, but the breakdowns are exactly the same, which is crazy. 100% polyester, 220 yards, 10.5 five ounces 300 grams 201 meters and it's just eight millimeter crochet hooks and knitting needles and a super bulky number six so okay they're exactly the same i didn't even realize that this color name is called red and that's it it's just called red <laughs> so i will again be using this for squishmallows most likely so let me pull out the receipt really quick paid 11.99 for the big twist one and there was no sales going on like in the store for either of these yarns, but I did end up paying $7.19 for this one. I got $4.80 off of the regular $11.99 because I used my coupon for 40% off, 
I believe, of one regular priced item. I can't remember. Um, I think it was 40%. It could have been like 50 or 30 or something though, but I believe it was 40. So this is the one that it ended up giving me the percentage off of. And again, that was $7.19 instead of $11.99. Other than that, all of the rest of them I'm showing you is $6.74 that I paid for them because of the two sale and coupon together. So yes, let's get into this huge bag. Okay, y'all, so I think this is the only color that I actually got more than one of. And that is this yellow color. And there is a good reason for it. So I have this color, which is called Sun Soaked, which if you guys saw my video where I made a sunflower pillow, I am planning on making another one of those. And it does take a little more than one and a half skeins. I would say like one and three quarter skeins or something like that is what it takes so that's basically what this is and then i have an order for my squishmallow crab pattern which is also on my etsy for yellow one so that's what this is for because i already started using the yellow that i had left over from the sunflower pillow and i ran out of it so that's what the three are for and again this is the only one that i got more than one of but it was 674 each all right i have two more that are blanket yarns and then the rest in there are baby blankets so i have a lot of the blanket colors to be honest with you so i think that's why i've been getting more baby blankets but anyways this is just a cream color which is called vintage white and again this is regular burnett blanket so it looks really white on camera Let's see if I can get a close-up. Okay, it's showing up very dark on camera. I always try to give y'all a close-up, but then the color ends up looking even more distorted. So I'm not exactly sure how to show it to you. It looks very white from here, but then up close it looks like a tan color almost because it's so dark. But just know it is like an off-white color. And again, this is color vintage white. Next, y'all, this is the final one that is blanket instead of baby blanket and this is the color smoky green so i think this does show up pretty well from here so i'm not going to bother doing a close-up but um yeah this is kind of my frog color and i'm planning on making one of those all right y'all now we have four baby blankets and all of them are different colors so i'm just going to tell you the color names so this one is baby pink which again is showing up so bright maybe it's not as bright as it looks to me but yeah it's just a baby pink color like kind of self-explanatory to be honest with you and just another color that i thought would be good to have some of these i literally just placed this order yesterday y'all and picked it up today and some of these i can't even remember what i told myself i was gonna make so that's pretty bad to be honest <laughs> it was just yesterday all right, next, y'all, we have Coral Blossom, which is like a peach color, I would describe it. Again, not showing up correctly on camera, but even if I tried to do a close-up, it would just show up even darker than it actually is. So, I apologize. <laughs> I think it's because it's nighttime right now and everything. It's not wanting to work with me. But this is still, like, as accurate as I think it could be through the camera. So... Anyway, yes, it is just a little bit more peachy, I think, in person than it shows up on camera. But um, this is Coral Blossom, and I thought it was a nice peachy color for some other Squishmallows that, again, I can't remember what I told myself I was going to make with them. So that's kind of terrible. Maybe I should have wrote down a list on my phone or something. <laughs> All right, y'all. This one is Misty Mountain, which is just a gray color. So again, kind of self-explanatory, but um, I also just like to have variety because sometimes whenever I'm designing a pattern or just crocheting something in general, I'm like, it should be a little more of a lighter gray or a little more of a darker gray. So whenever I can kind of get the price pretty good, I like to kind of stock up a little bit. So that's really what this is, as well as some of them I actually had ideas for. Like this last one, 
I actually can tell you what I'm making with it because I do remember. So this is the color Buttercup, which if you guys have seen my Bee Squishmallow pattern, that is the color that I used for this, which again, it is showing up so much brighter on camera than it actually is. So I apologize, but um, this color Buttercup is what I used for my Bee Squishmallow and I'm planning on making another one to hopefully sell at some point, whether it is to someone like through my Etsy shop or just through like people I know. Um, I'm not sure exactly yet because I don't have any orders actually lined up for the Bee Squishmallow, but I did just want to make another one because it's so cute. So either way, it'll be on my Etsy shop or I'll sell it to somebody that I know in person if anybody's actually interested in it. But that's kind of it y'all so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do give this video a big thumbs up i will have all of these yarns linked in the description box below for you guys so if you do want to check that out as well as more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop all of my social medias my vlog channel my riveler shop all of that always linked below for y'all if you are interested and um if you do want to see more videos from me make sure you do hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video and definitely let me know in the comments what you guys thought of all of these yarns if you've used any of these or maybe if any of these colors inspired you what you would make with these colors anything like that i would love to hear in the comments and um yeah again thank you so much for watching i will see you guys here in sunday's video for the next yarn sale video as well as on monday for regular video goodbye